missiles fired last night at us and our allies were paid for with the funds made available by the last administration. He blamed that behavior on the unfounded claim that the Obama-era nuclear agreement enabled Iran to build up its military arsenal. And in fact, we should expect that some portion of that money would go to the Iranian military and could potentially be used for the kinds of bad behavior uh, that we have seen in the region. Yesterday, I did a video about the Democrat Party's Chuck Todd hyperventilating over Trump's accurate statement that Obama's Iran deal actually funded Iran's military. Part of the video was a clip of an interview with Susan Rice in 2016, where she admits that the money that was given to Iran would be used to fund their military. Was really elected on the hope that he would bring economic right. relief to the Iranian people. But, but I just yes, want to be it precise. Is real. It is possible. And in fact, we should expect that some portion of that money would go to the Iranian military and could potentially be used for the kinds of bad behavior uh, that we have seen in the region. Well, predictably, today the media and even Susan Rice are out there trying to rewrite history and pivot to the Trump is a liar narrative. CBS News is out there calling the claim unfounded and Susan Rice Susan Rice actually called it a despicable lie. He blamed that behavior on the unfounded claim that the Obama-era nuclear agreement enabled Iran to build up its military arsenal. And there is backlash to this comment about his predecessor, former President Barack Obama. That's a reference to Iran's money that was unfrozen as a part of the Iran nuclear deal, a deal negotiated by former President Obama and ripped up by President Trump. Today, a former top Obama official firing back. This is another series of despicable lies. Unbelievable! Just more solid evidence that our press is untrustworthy. They'll blatantly lie and bury inconvenient history all in service of attaining power for Democrats. Unfounded claim that the Obama-era nuclear agreement enabled Iran to build up its military arsenal. We should expect that some portion of that money would go to the Iranian military. Unfounded claim. This is another series of despicable lies. And in fact, we should expect that some portion of that money would go to the Iranian military and could potentially be used for the kinds of bad behavior uh, that we have seen in the region unfounded claim just to let you all know i have this clip of susan rice on my twitter page if you don't follow me go over there and follow me and share this video clip this is one of those times where they've really stepped in it and they've told a lie that's easily refutable it's a great opportunity to show people who might not know any better that the media should not be trusted how is it that some random dude on the internet is better at journalism than Weisha Zhang here? Oh, but she's not a journalist, as we all know at this point. She's a DNC operative who's saying what she's told to say. She clearly did no actual research of her own because if she did, she would have easily have found this clip. She might also have found this clip of John Kerry admitting that the money would be used for military purposes. I think that some of it will ha end up in the hands of... Uh... Uh, the IRGC or of other entities, some of which are labeled terrorist, uh, in, in, you know, to some degree, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that every uh, component of that can be prevented. This is another series of despicable lies. Don't you just love how they're always guilty of what they're accusing others of? Unfortunately, it wasn't just CBS News and Susan Rice lying their asses off in a desperate bid to defend Obama's legacy. Joe Biden was, of course, out there as well, claiming that Trump lied. Instead of using his statement today to lay out a coherent strategy on Iran, Donald Trump used it to mislead the country on the Obama-Biden record. He's been president for three years. It's time he stops blaming President Obama for his failures. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's Rich, coming from the Obama administration, who spent the entire eight years blaming Bush for their problems. As I pointed out yesterday, it was so prevalent in the Obama administration that he actually joked about it himself. Which will actually begin uh, by uh, building uh, another edifice right next to the Bush Library. Can we show that, please? <laughs> CNN also did a fact check on Trump's statement, but did not refute his claim that the money funded Iran's military. Instead, they claimed the dollar amount was incorrect. But 
also having to admit that it was originally Obama who put this number out there in the first place. Just another good reason to turn off your TV. The links they'll go to defend and protect Democrats is mind blowing, including rewriting history that's easily found through an internet search. It just shows what a low opinion they have of this country, assuming that nobody's going to go and look this up. Or maybe they just figure they're going to convince half the country no matter what. They aren't called the drive-by media for nothing. Hey, thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Head on over to my Twitter and follow me if you haven't. And make sure to share that video of Susan Rice. We got to get the word out on that. If you want to further support this channel, you can do so on Subscribestar, Patreon, or just sending a donation on PayPal. As always, I appreciate it no matter how you decide to support this channel. Thanks for coming. Keep coming back.